but have you noticed in terms of like the quality of fruit if you have maybe slightly poor quality fruit have you noticed you need to eat more of it it's like how do you feel about the calorie model because obviously there's certain flaws it's just a way of tracking roughly how much you eat but have you found like your calorie intake calorie intake varies drastically depending on the quality of the fruit because some people absolutely sorry just quickly like uh, some people living in the tropics they might have like fresh organic ripe papaya and they may not feel like they need to eat as much compared to like if we were to eat papaya in europe you know Absolutely. No, 100, 110%. I've found that over and over, especially when I, you know, let's say I live in Costa Rica for three months and then I come back to Canada and it's still winter and the, the food isn't quite as good. The difference there being, I find um, when I'm eating really peak quality, fresh picked tropical fruit, I'm much more likely to finish and be totally satiated, but still feel like I could eat more, like just, just a little, not like a lot. Uh, whereas at home, sometimes you'll feel like, okay, I, I need to push it just a little extra, like having that bite beyond what I feel like I could, could enjoy, you know, like, and, and, you know, the old antics that Dr. Graham talks about sometimes is, you know, eating right between all you want and all you can, or all you enjoy and all you can. Right. And I find that's even more apt when we're outside of our, our natural environment with like really, really good quality fruit. But I also think there is a couple other layers to this as well you know like if we're in a really really nice ideal environment and we're really enjoying it we're comfortable you know we're living a low stress lifestyle well that's going to lead us to requiring a little less as well if we're in a place that's really cold it's going to require more thermal energy and thus a little bit more calories if we're not very happy we're more likely to just eat more to numb ourselves a little bit so I, I think it kind of goes into a bunch of those different categories, at least to some degree with each individual. And there's, you know, variables to consider. Um, yeah, there was one other thing I wanted to mention there. In the very beginning, you you, had, you mentioned one other question there. Or uh, could you repeat your question in the beginning? Sort of something that kind of came up that I wanted to mention. Yeah, sure. I've just got to remember it myself. <laughs> I was just saying about finding exercise you love and just how my caloric intake has, how I've noticed it changes drastically depending on if I'm working out. That yeah, that's one other thing I wanted to mention too, is because like sometimes we might look at say chronometer and think like, okay, well, banana, hundred calories. But you know, the reality is those are two just estimates, right? So a really, really good quality sweet banana might be 120 calories and a crappy one that doesn't have much flavor and sweetness to it might be 80 calories, right? So understanding that those things aren't perfect either. And you know, our, our, I, I do believe that the calorie model is the, the best we've got, but again, it's not absolutely perfect and it doesn't completely account for each individual variety of food, um, how late it was picked or how early or how good the soil quality was, uh, how good our digestion is and, you know, even our mindset and our, our feelings when we're eating it. Because if we're eating it from a place of stress and like, we got to eat this way, well, we're not going to be getting the same abundance we're going to get from it. If we're coming from a place of, wow, I feel great and I enjoy this, like I feel so blessed coming from gratitude rather than stress.